Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jaden and I hope you enjoy the video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. I was gonna call this my summer makeup routine, but this is my makeup routine all year round. Like really nothing switches out and I've been doing this routine for like eight months now I think so it's a pretty solid routine and I haven't changed it since because I like it so much so without further ado let's get started first thing I do is either tie my hair back or put clips in it or put a headband on I think today we're gonna go with the headband even though it makes me look weird I just got my hair done so I don't want to tie it back First thing I always do in the morning is my skincare. I don't do this right before my makeup, so I have already done this today, but this is different from what I use at night. So in the mornings, I use the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. I always try and put sunscreen on. I don't need a lot, but I know it's important. So I just use this as my moisturizer and then I mix it with some vitamin C. This is the one that I usually use. I get this from TJ Maxx. And then also before I put makeup on, I always have chapstick on. This is Aquaphor. I have this giant tub and I love it. I just put this on every single day. Now we're gonna get started with the actual makeup. That is bright, wow. This is new from my last makeup routine video. But I use primer now. I use the e.l.f. What is this? I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. As you can see, this is almost already out. This is not even my first one. Okay, so I just put a little bit on my forehead and then my cheeks, like so. And then I just blend that in with my fingers. Okay, the camera angle changed a little bit just so y'all can see better. But now that I put my primer on, I'm going to use concealer. I've never really worn foundation. Like, that's just not my thing. I prefer concealer just because it's lighter. It doesn't feel like I have, like, I don't feel all, like, cakey, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just not really my jam. And I don't need to cover my whole face. I really just put it in certain areas. The lighting is going to keep changing, guys. I apologize. For concealer, I use the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This is the one with matte finish. But I just put this a little dot under my eyes, on my forehead, and then usually just in like these areas on my cheeks. And it kind of just depends on if I have like any specific areas, like problem areas. And then I use my e.l.f beauty blender and I just blend that out sometimes I blend with my finger it kind of just depends on how small the area is or how much concealer I put on but for the most part I just use my beauty blender in my last makeup routine video, I said that blush was like optional. I used a blush that I had had for a really long time. But after that, I kind of started using blush a lot more and I just added it to my everyday routine. Now I use liquid blush, kind of. I use this Milani one. It's not powder. It's like liquid, but not. I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, I like this blush a lot. I've been using this. I want to say that this is the first blush that I tried after my last makeup routine video so I've stuck with this for almost a year now and I love it I just put my finger in there like that circle it around and put it on my cheeks and I usually bring it up my cheekbone I think I don't really know I also just put a little bit on my nose and then also a little bit on my chin not a ton I really just focus it on my cheeks and then I just take this little black elf blush brush and blend that out but yeah, i just kind of go in circles up my cheek like this you can't really tell on camera but i just love using blush i can't believe i ever had a makeup routine that did not include blush next i do my eyebrows and thank the lord himself i was blessed with good eyebrows my dad has really good eyebrows so i've never had to fill mine in all i do is just take some clear gel and brush them kind of shape them out and then i'm good to go for my eyebrows i use the nyx control freak clear gel i think they have this in different colors as well i just use the clear one because like i said i've never really had to fill my eyebrows in so i just brush them upward and then I just kind of shape and um, smooth out the ends, I guess. Like that. But yeah, it's very simple, quick, and easy. I pretty much do my eyebrows every day if I don't wear any other form of makeup. 
just because I feel like even having brushed out eyebrows just makes you look so much more put together. I can't explain it. But yeah, that's very, very quick and easy for me, thankfully. Some days I can't get them to cooperate. Like yesterday I had the hardest time, but most days I can get them on the first try. Next, I'm going to do my lashes. I curl my lashes all the time. If I'm not wearing makeup, brush out my eyebrows and curl my eyelashes. Those are the two things that I do almost every single day, whether it's my full makeup routine or not. I'm pretty sure this is just an e.l.f. like generic eyelash curler. Very simple, I don't need anything fancy. So I just curl my eyelashes. I don't like put a blow dryer or anything on them. Like I, this is the most basic eyelash curling that you can get. But for mascara, this has been, I think, I want to say that this is like the longest I've ever used the same mascara. It's the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I love this stuff so much. It's just the perfect mix between like lengthening and also like volumizing. So I do one layer where I'm just kind of like trying to lengthen them. It's a pretty thin layer. So I mostly do like slower strokes trying to lengthen them out and also focus on the ends. And once that's done on both eyes, I do the bottom lashes. I use the same mascara on the bottom lashes. Basically you're doing the same thing I just did on my top ones. Once my bottom lashes are done, hopefully my top ones are dry. So I just go in with my second coat. Once I'm going on the second coat, I just kind of go ham. This is when I get the most mascara on my eyelids. I don't know if y'all can tell, but my eyelids are very black right now because I cannot do mascara without getting it all over my eyelids, but I'd rather it get everywhere and my lashes look good so I can just clean them up after. Okay, and then I take a Q-tip. Honestly, I don't really wait for them to dry. I just take a Q-tip and clean it all off of my top eyelids and typically under my eyes as well, like where I did my bottom lashes. So I got my Garnier Micellar Water. This is what I use to take off my makeup every single day and I just shake this up and I have a Q-tip and I just squeeze a little bit on the top of the Q-tip and then clean my eyelids off. Next, I use setting spray. Setting spray is actually one thing that I haven't had in my routine for the past like eight months. I just recently started using this every day. I use the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set setting spray. This is a very like cheap one. I just got this because I needed it for like contest routines. Okay, my camera stopped recording, but like I was saying, I was dancing and sweating all day, so I wanted to have a good setting spray. I don't know that this is a good one. There are definitely some ones that I've heard about that I would like to try, but I was like, let me just go ahead and use this little one up. I just spray this all over my face. And then I have to fan it so it'll dry a little bit. Then, while this is still kind of drying, I do my highlight. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I feel like I've seen people do this before. Like, they do setting spray before highlight. Then I take my Milani Baked Highlighter. This is in the shade Champagne Doro. I can't show it to you because the words are literally, like, all off of here because I've been using this for so long. But look how much is still left in here, guys. Like, literally... <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's been broken for a while, but it's okay. But I just put a little bit on this brush. I don't know where I got this from. I think it was in a set. And then I just put it on the tip of my nose. And I think this is called like the bridge of your nose. And I blend the tip in a little bit with my finger because I don't want it to be like too much. And then I also put a tiny bit in my inner corners. Some people go ham with the inner corner highlight, but I like mine to be very subtle. And that was the final step of my makeup routine. So I'm gonna take this headband off, yikes. My makeup is all done. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but I like this makeup routine a lot. Like I said, I've been doing it for a while now and I am very satisfied with it. I don't think it's gonna change anytime soon. Oh my gosh, wait, I forgot to show you guys. Look at my makeup bag, it's so cute. I used to have this really like ugly one, but I asked for this one for my birthday because my birthday was like a week ago and I'm so happy I got it. It's from Etsy and it has, what is this called? Like gingham, blue gingham on the inside. It's so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're not already, please subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video.